Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we re diving deep into a topic that asks a cornerstone of every single prenatal ultrasound, the fetal stomach. Believe it or not, the fetal stomach can be spotted on a transvaginal ultrasound as early as 8 weeks, but by 14 weeks it should always be visible as a round, black fluid-filled circle in the baby's upper left abdomen. So, what does a normal fetal stomach look like, and where should it be? Think of it like a GPS landmark. In a cross-section view of the baby's belly, you should see the spine at the back, the large liver filling most of the right side, and that distinct black stomach bubble on the left, just below the diaphragm. On longitudinal scan, the stomach should be clearly under the diaphragm, not creeping up into the chest. This relationship to the heart is crucial. In a normal four-chamber heart view, the heart points to the left, and the stomach sits just below it, also on the left. So, every time we scan, we have a mental checklist. Is the stomach visible? black, and in the left upper abdomen. What are the possible causes of an abnormal position of the fetal stomach on ultrasound? A diaphragmatic hernia is a congenital defect where there is an abnormal opening in the diaphragm, allowing abdominal organs like the stomach and bowel to move into the chest cavity. On ultrasound, you'll see the stomach next to the heart, often pushing the heart over to the right. In hiatal hernia, the stomach pokes above the diaphragm into the lower chest. This is not a chest wall hernia like CDH. In even tration of the diaphragm, a high riding diaphragm makes the stomach appear too high, but it remains contained, not truly herniated. In gastroscises a defect in the anterior abdominal wall, the stomach most often stays inside the abdomen. However, in large defects, the stomach can herniate outside, seen as a black bubble with bowel outside the abdomen. Situs inversus is a condition in which the stomach is on the right, the heart points to the right, and the liver is on the left. Everything is flipped. There's also a condition called situs, ambiguous, or heterotaxy, in which the organs are arranged randomly. This can be much more complex. A small, non-visible, or persistently empty stomach is another concern. If the stomach is always empty, it might signal a problem with swallowing, like an esophageal atresia, where the esophagus isn't connected to the stomach. This often goes hand-in-hand -hand with too much amniotic fluid, or polyhydramnios because the baby can't swallow it. Look for a single, large, fluid-filled stomach bubble with no adjacent double bubble and possible polyhydramnios. Think pyloric atresia blockage of the pylorus, the outlet of the stomach, which prevents food from entering the small intestine. The classic double bubble sign is a big one. It looks like two connected, fluid-filled bubbles in the upper abdomen and represents a dilated stomach and the first part of the intestine. The du this sign is a hallmark of duodenal atresia. Duodenal atresia is a congenital condition where the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, is completely blocked preventing food and fluids from passing through. Since this condition is strongly linked to Down syndrome, finding a double bubble will prompt a search for other markers. Finally, the stomach is not just an organ we check for position, it's also a key landmark for measuring the fetus growth. The abdominal circumference, or AC, is one of the most important biometric measurements. To get an accurate AC, we find that perfect circular cross-section of the abdomen that includes the stomach bubble, a portion of the umbilical vein, and the spine. This measurement helps us estimate the fetal weight and monitor growth throughout the pregnancy. So, to wrap it up, that simple black bubble is a powerhouse of information. Its presence, position, and size help us confirm normal development. Screen for major anomalies like diaphragmatic hernias and intestinal blockages, and ensure the baby is growing well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you understand just how important the fetal stomach is in every ultrasound. 